Hello, dear jewelry lovers. Today I will tell you a fascinating story about the jewelry of the royal family of Portugal. One of the most unusual jewelry was specially commissioned by Queen Maria Pia of Savoy of Portugal. This woman was famous for her extravagant style and philanthropy. She could change her dress three times in one evening at a ball, while also focusing on charitable projects for ordinary Portuguese people. What makes this Joel Tiara unique is that the stars on it were set to oscillate as it moved, creating a shimmering effect. The Queen herself owned an arsenal of star jewelry including a tiara, necklace, hairpins, brooches, earrings, bracelets and a comb. This set was created between 1864 and 1866. The jewelry used the purest Brazilian diamonds from the treasury of the Portuguese crown. Some of the stones were taken from other jewelry. Although some sources claim that the diamonds in the tiara were colorless and pink, this is not so obvious in the photographs. However, it can be seen that the center stone has a yellow hue. This is a large diamond called the Maria Pia. Unfortunately, no photographs of Queen Maria Pia wearing this tiara have survived. There are only portraits that show that the tiara is very different from what we see in modern photographs. Originally, there was only one row of stars in the tiara. It is believed that the second row was added by Maria's daughter-in-law, Queen Amelia. By that time, Maria Pia had already become a widow and was given the status of Queen Mother. The entire ensemble of jewelry belonged to the crown, not the Queen Mother's personal property, so she gave it to the young Queen Amelia of Orleans. But even Amelia did not have time to capture the redesigned jewelry, as the overthrow of the monarchy took place. The royal family had to go into exile, leaving most of the jewelry in Portugal. The Peru was given to the House of Braganca Foundation. Now the tiara and necklace are in the vault of the Ajuda National Palace in Lisbon. And where the remaining stars, bracelet, comb and earrings went, is not specified. The next tiara to be revealed is the Sapphire Tiara of Portuguese Queen Maria II. The tiara was inherited by her daughter, Infanta Maria Anna, Princess of Saxony, in 1853 and was passed down through the Saxon and Hohenzollern Sigmaringen families. Princess Birgitta of Sweden, Princess of Hohenzollern, wore it for the last time at the wedding of Queen Margrethe II of Denmark in 1967. In 1846, Austrian artist Ferdinand Krumholz captured a portrait of Queen Mary II of Portugal in her magnificent Peru. This portrait is now kept in the throne room of the Palacio de Ajuda Palace in Lisbon. The portrait shows Queen Mary II wearing a diamond and sapphire tiara, as well as a brooch and bracelet. After the Queen's death in 1853, the tiara was valued at 2 million reais. It was described as a set of nine detachable elements set with a total of 1,415 diamonds, and five high-quality sapphires. All the large diamonds were of excellent quality and well cut. At the division of the Queen's jewellery, the tiara was inherited, apparently by the Infanta Maria Anna. In 1859, Maria Anna married Prince George, heir to the Saxon throne, and the tiara went to the Kingdom of Saxony. However, Maria Anna never became Queen of Saxony due to her premature death. The tiara was passed on to her eldest son, Prince Frederick Augustus, and then to his daughter, Princess Margarita Carola. In 1920, Princess Margarita Carola married Friedrich of Hohenzollern Sigmaringen, great-grandson of Queen Maria II of Portugal. Princess Margaret often wore the tiara as a bando. The tiara was last seen in public in 1967 at the wedding of Queen Margaret of Denmark. One of the magnificent works of art in the world of jewelry is the Braganza flower necklace tiara. The origin of this set of jewelry set with diamonds remains virtually unrecognized. What is known is that it belonged to Isabel, Princess Braganza, and was in her own jewelry collection for at least 15 years. It is important to note that this magnificent artifact of jewelry craftsmanship has graced the image of the princess on many occasions at important ceremonial events, both in Portugal and abroad. In April 2006, at a private dinner dedicated to the 60th birthday of King Karl XVI Gustav of Sweden, Isabel appeared before the guests wearing a necklace and earrings of this incredible set. November 2016 is remembered by the public as the moment when the princess wore a necklace in the form of a repurposed tiara, during Spain's state visit to Portugal. 
Although this diamond-encrusted artifact was not the first time it was used as a tiara, it is currently its last appearance in such a capacity. Although the Portuguese royal family lost the throne over a hundred years ago, the Braganca family has retained a significant amount of royal jewelry. Isabel, with several tiaras to choose from, can afford variety in her choice of jewelry for her appearances at ceremonial events. Thus, the Braganza flower necklace tiara is just one of the many amazing pieces of jewelry that are designed to highlight Princess Isabel's nobility and sophistication. The brilliance and splendor of the King Louis diamond tiara permeates the last years of the Portuguese monarchy. It is an exquisite gift given by King Louis to his bride, Queen Omelie of Portugal, on their wedding day. After the abolition of the monarchy, the tiara came into the possession of the Queen Mother, who bequeathed it to her godson, the current Duke of Braganca. The most memorable use of this tiara was on the wedding day of Isabel, wife of the Duke of Braganca, in 1995. Although Portugal is now a republic, Bragancas continue to be symbols of the royal era, and their appearances at official events, including their wedding, generate widespread public interest. Although Isabel does not often resort to using this majestic tiara, seeing her in public wearing this piece of jewelry, especially when accompanied by guests from other monarchies, gives her a special charm and elevation. The impressive radiance and opulence of the King Louis diamond tiara recall the glorious times of Portugal's monarchical history, and add a special grandeur to the royal heritage of this country. The diamond bando tiara, known as the bando of the Duchess of Braganca, is an essential attribute of the modern Portuguese royal dynasty. Its wearer, the current Duchess of Braganca, wife of the pretender to the throne of Portugal, has repeatedly attracted attention at official events, favorably emphasizing her royal status. The Duke of Braganca, Don Duarte Pio, although not a pretender to the throne, has a certain public recognition and his wife, the Duchess, invariably accompanies him on official occasions. The tiara bando she often wears is an hereditary piece of jewelry first worn by the Duke's mother, Maria Francisca, a member of the Brazilian branch of the Portuguese royal family. Her marriage to the current Duke's father united the two lines, and the jewelry was probably created in the mid-20th century. It is important to note that despite the loss of Portugal's monarchical status, the Braganca dynasty continues to preserve and pass on the family jewellery. Recently, in an interview, the Duchess hinted that similar family jewellery may be inherited by their daughter, indicating the preservation of royal tradition in modern society. Thus, the Braganza Tiara Bando is not only a symbol of royal heritage, but also reflects the dynasty's desire to maintain its historical significance and influence in the modern world. That's all for today. Tell us in the comments which of the tiaras impressed you the most. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel, see you soon.